the kid here with another conduit to update and wow guys if you seen those videos i posted wow i mean this game is looking amazing i mean oh boy the customization is just phenomenal and the achievements and stuff it's going to be 4,000 achievements and medals. That's a new thing, medals. I didn't know there were going to be medals, but there are. And um, in those videos, those two videos, they they showed so much that everybody wanted to see. Because I was requesting that, too. If you've seen some of my, some of my uh, other updates, I was seeing that they should show more customization a little more. And only... Um, customization that we have seen was in the um the live stream from destructoid so now this is a real welcome addition to you know to see the loadouts and the medals um fully to an extent so that we can get our hopes even higher on this game and it has put my hopes even higher i mean i am I'm thoroughly looking forward for this game. And guess what, guys? Five more days. So, five more days. That's next Tuesday is going to be an all-day um, thing for me. It's just going to be me in my room playing this game. And um, unboxing video. Yes, I will put in unboxing video. I am still trying to see if I'm having uh, my current... Uh, my closest GameStop is having a midnight launch for this game, but I don't think so. But I will ask around. But um, if I if there is, I probably won't go to it because it just depends on what's happening um, that day. So on Monday. So um, but I will definitely do a unboxing video the moment I get it. Um, I will use my camera, um, and yeah, I'll show you guys what's in it. So I'm getting the special edition or limited edition, which comes with the 44-page concept art book, and I'll probably show a little bit of that, but you, it'll probably be a little blurry since, you know, it's pictures, and um, I'll try my best to show you guys at least some of it. So gameplay I do want to do gameplay for this game, but I I did um, order a tripod, and it's no confirmation on if it's been sent out to me or anything. It's just no no nothing. I don't know if the uh, the company had sent it or not. So probably gonna get the money back and go to a more reliable site. Um, so it might be a delay to doing a review, but I will do a review on this game probably after I beat, um, the game and most likely after I beat the game and, um, when I, uh, what I say, um, when I, you know, experience multiplayer for the fullest, because I might do a, uh, story this the campaign review and i might do a the the multiplayer in a you know separate review since the multiplayer is so robust and there's so many perks and um uh medals and stuff like that um i might have to do a review for the multiplayer itself so um but i don't know i just might add it all together and just a long 15 minute up uh not update review so guys stay tuned for that and um you guys thoughts on uh, the customization you know they showed us some of the combinations um you can do um <coughs> excuse me um far as the um ARC Eclipse um, being a stealth weapon. Um, a lot of people are worried about this weapon, and this weapon is surprisingly really balanced. It can go, you can cloak yourself kind of like um, the same way you could in in um, Crisis 2, but um, you have a time limit. If you stay cloaked too long, the gun will freeze over and you'll have to break the ice, and when it freezes over, you will be revealed to 
whoever you was trying to sneak up on, it doesn't matter if you have um, the stealth perk or not. If they see you, um, you're going to have to break the ice, and that's going to take a minute. Then you got to wait for the gun to come back to normal, you know, temperature. And it's also a semi-automatic, so it will take... Um, if you fire it uh, a little too fast, it will overheat, and then you'll have to wait for it to cool down, and that will really suck. So that's why it's good to have, you know, stealth, like they said, because th those things will happen, and you probably just don't want to be seen on a radar or anything. Also, some people are worried about the phase rifle, which shouldn't worry anyone, because the phase rifle, yes, it has all these perks that can be put on where... Um, you could turn off where people are warned um, for that they're being about to be sniped. But at the same time, the person with the phase rifle, they you have to literally be camping. There is not one part in that video where they show the person not standing still because it has to first lock onto your heat signature um, and then it can shoot you. It can't just shoot you or it won't work. So to people who like to camp, it won't really work this time. So all you have to do really with the um, to avoid um, people with the phase rifle with all these tunings and stuff, just keep moving. That's pretty much all. No one likes camping anyway, except if you're a camper. So keep moving and you won't have to worry about the phase rifle. But it's not to say that you won't get caught with the phase rifle i mean um i mean if you're like trying to kill someone you know from a balcony or something and they're on the bottom floor and someone's already tuning into you you might get sniped i mean that's what any game if you're trying to do that you can get sniped easily um there's another um sniper rifle it's it's called the um i think i, I forgot what it's called but it's a, it goes automatic, then it goes semi-automatic when you use the scope. And um, that's, but it's not one shot kill with that one. So people don't have to worry about that. It takes at least um, three, four shots um, to kill someone in the head with that, with the semi-automatic, with the scope. So don't, you guys don't worry about the perks. Every perk just about cancels out another perk so the the perks are pretty they're pretty um well balanced and stuff and plus high voltage studio can patch this game which means they can probably patch the weapons um downgrade them or upgrade them um make them less top tier you know the dark star too um you guys say um you're worried about that well the dark star can be a huge double-edged sword i mean it can suck you in the person who shot it can be sucked in too as well as teammates so everybody has to be careful with that weapon and to my uh, um my view is a lot of people will surprisingly not use that weapon unless they are pretty good with it because if you can suck in your own team members that's going to be kind of a you know a kind of a deal breaker with using it because one if you say you're in a clan war team war or whatever and you use the dark star and then you accidentally uh, sh uh get your friend in the gravity and he dies thus that will be like friendly fire and that probably will cost something um with your points and it will just be a big loss um to tell you the truth especially if you use it while everybody's like you know, together in this big herd, um, uh, fighting the enemy and you use it and it just ends up killing everybody. Um, it will be a pretty sad sight and you probably wouldn't feel good about that. But some are wondering if there's any real escape from the, uh, dark star. I don't know. Um, you could probably try to run yourself, um, away from it. Um, maybe before you get pulled in, if unless they shoot it right, you know, on top of you. But um, I'm pretty sure High Voltage Studios would allow some way for you to escape it. Maybe you can run from it or something. Um, I don't know.
But um, the perks in this game, yeah, there's perks where you will be able to sprint unlimitedly. People are worried about uh, if the phase rifle will tune into them while they're trying to regenerate health. Well, my answer to that is you can regenerate health while moving, you know, like Call of Duty. You can you can still move around and you'll regenerate your health. There's also a perk that will regenerate your health while you're um, you're crouched down. So would this mean while someone is shooting you, you'll automatically regain that, um, you know, in if you're shooting at someone while crouched down and someone's shooting at you, will that mean that that person will not die because he is constantly regenerating, you know, energy? No. I mean, of course, it's when you regain energy, it's a sort of slow process. So if you're shooting that person while they're regaining energy, the impact of the bullet or whatever gun you're using will most likely kill them before they can even dare regenerate so don't even worry about that either so i mean there's a lot of perks that cancel out another also unlike call of duty in this game you won't just simply slash someone with a knife and it's a one hit kill i mean it's you you punch people or hit them with the gun or whatever weapon you have and it takes about two to three punches to actually kill someone, which is well balanced and not as cheap. Also, there's a perk for blinding powder. I thought it was first blinding power, but apparently it's blinding powder. Um, and um, it blinds you for a short second. But I thought this was going to be just like the flash grenade, um, very long and stuff, but it wasn't. It was pretty it looked at like when they showed the demonstration that you could still pretty much see what's going on it's just a short blind but it does add a lot of strategy far as if you do punch someone and then you back up to shoot them it will disorient them enough for you to you know shoot them up real quick and kill them so that's that's pretty cool so there's a lot of perks to watch out for but a lot of perks do um, cancel out one another, which makes the game balanced. So people who's worried about it, don't don't be worried about it. So um, also, let me get into some of the medals. Um, the medals, it's outstanding how many achievements and medals you can unlock. And then people can see all your medals and brag about it. You know, it's just so cool that you can do all that. It seems like High Voltage Software has really you know, put their their time and their effort into this game to make it better than the first. And, you know, I respect them for that. Even if this game turns out to be bad or which I'm not expecting, but even if it does, I would still respect them for trying, you know, they did try. So um, also with the medals and stuff, there is actually a achievement you can unlock for teabagging. So that is probably the most awesome achievement that I've ever seen in a first person shooter ever. For teabagging someone, you get an achievement. That is freaking awesome. That is the first achievement that I'm probably going to um unlock. So that's cool. Also unlocking weapons, you won't have them on multiplayer all at once. You'll have to unlock them due to credits and when a multiplayer matches invasion mode, all that. Um, so guys, um, in the comments below, put what you think about all this stuff, um, all these things, and um, please subscribe and like this video, and um, I'll be updating you guys more as more things are revealed on Conduit 2, but this just might be my last update, so don't, don't um, expect another update um, with this, so... It, um, the next update probably I would do is saying that that is my final update or just do a bulletin that um, there's no more updates for Conduit 2 because it is coming out in five days, um, guys. So um, unless they release some more news, which pretty much there is no more news, um, uh, I won't be doing update. So, guys, thanks for watching.